We wanted the contest to get that conversation started and keep going about things you can do outside, things you can do for fun, for exercise, for transportation. It's a good way to have one-on-one -on -one time with your friends outside, but I really like catching up with my friends and hearing about what's new in their life. It all kind of comes together in the end, from having one childhood friend to you know growing up and being an independent person. This is the first time we've done a countywide poster art contest. We wanted to promote awareness of our Safe Routes program. We wanted families to have conversations about walking and biking, and we also wanted kids to have a creative outlet. It's super encouraging and exciting to see that kids are still very much drawn to the natural world, and that includes creating and playing and learning from nature, learning from other people and each other to use their imaginations, to think creatively, to use their hands. This exhibit is a great example of what we wanted the contest to do, was to kind of be a project that a whole class could work on. And so Ms. Wright from Hallinan Elementary in Lake Oswego had 14 entries from her class. This exhibit highlights that collection from that classroom. To find out that they had both won, of course, was, you know, earth-shattering earth news around here these days. <laughs> Adeline, Caitlin, and Avery were the first place winners. I was really excited. I was super surprised. I was freaking out. I had a really fun time doing it. Kids are great artists, and they just are so creative. We're going to do another contest next year, and we really hope that a lot of people enter. Getting involved in Safe Routes programs um, at your school community is a great idea. It can be a very fun event. It can provide ed education. There's a lot of opportunities for grants and projects to be funded. Whether you're a parent or a teacher or a student, you can be involved in the Safe Routes program because there's something for everybody.